Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you guys are all doing well. So as you guys can see, Bitcoin pumped up like crazy, but not just Bitcoin, the entire cryptocurrency market has in fact absolutely pumped up today. And of course, guys, I'm giving you guys an update on what is exactly happening right now with Bitcoin and Ethereum. And of course, the entire cryptocurrency market stays stay tuned, guys. There is in fact a lot to talk about so if you guys haven't seen yesterday's video i would highly suggest you guys to check that video out but literally i uploaded that video a few hours ago right and in that video i told you guys right you know where is bitcoin heading next right where is bitcoin's next move okay what is bitcoin's next move in the next you know a few weeks potentially in the next few months and i told you guys that bitcoin right could actually potentially go back up to $30,000. We might actually see Bitcoin go back up to twenty-four dollars to $25,000 to $28,000 and beyond that, right? Or we could see Bitcoin drop back down below to $16,000. And literally, guys, just a couple hours later, Bitcoin right now is above $24,000. So this is absolutely amazing to see. Bitcoin absolutely pumped up. We actually saw Bitcoin pump up yesterday as well, right? Um, Bitcoin was at like $22.6 thousand dollars. Okay, so just under 23k. Now Bitcoin's currently at 24.5 thousand dollars. Pretty much 24.6. So Bitcoin absolutely pumped up. It's still pumping, right? The pump that we saw yesterday, it's happening. Um, it's continuing to happen today, right? And it's pumping even more, right? Bitcoin absolutely pumped up. Like literally, guys, I went to bed, okay, and I woke up and I saw bitcoin pump and i was just so happy you know what i mean i was in disbelief right and then i went to work and i checked again right around 8 a.m to 9 a.m and it was still pumping right it just kept going up and i was just i don't know i was just really excited um for bitcoin and crypto and i'm really excited to film this video but anyways guys um bitcoin yes guys it's pumping same with the entire you know the entire cryptocurrency market right now okay so if you guys haven't seen yesterday's video, you, I highly suggest it, right? I highly suggest it because my predictions, okay, in that video is in fact happening right now. I told you guys that Bitcoin could actually potentially go back up to, you know, $25,000 to $28,000, maybe even potentially $30,000, right? But I still think, do I, you know, if you guys have in fact been, been watching my videos, right? I've been telling you guys this many times, I think Bitcoin will still right go back down to sixteen thousand dollars to fourteen thousand dollars potentially even 12k do i think that still stands do i think bitcoin right um still has the chance to go back down to those low price targets honestly i'm kind of 50 50 on it now thinking about it now i'm kind of 50 50 on it because bitcoin is it's been pumping right especially um last month right last month in january bitcoin pumped you know 40 percent and usually january is not a great month for bitcoin but this year right bitcoin um, absolutely pumped it, right? It was a great beginning to the new years, right? For Bitcoin and crypto. And now it's February. And usually, yes, guys, right? Uh, February is actually a great month for Bitcoin, okay? Usually it is, in fact, a great month. And this is why Bitcoin is absolutely pumping. Same with the cryptocurrency market. And I'm gonna get to that. So this is great to see for Bitcoin, guys, right? It really is. And guys, Bitcoin right? This is actually a milestone for Bitcoin right now, okay? With this pump that has in fact happened, right? In a matter of a few hours, okay? Bitcoin actually reached, um, you know, above $24,000. We know that, right? And this is in fact a crazy milestone for Bitcoin because, okay, because um, it's been a while since we've seen Bitcoin um, above $24,000, right? So let me show you guys what I mean here, okay? Um, so you guys can see, okay, in August, right, last year in August, okay, 2022, that was actually um, our last time, you know, seeing Bitcoin at uh, $24,000, right? Ever since then, in August, um, that was Bitcoin's last time um, at $24,000, right? And then ever since then, Bitcoin has, in fact, dropped, right? And now we know, okay, this year in 2023, Bitcoin absolutely pumped. Okay, had a little drop and now it's pumping once again. And now it's back up at 24K. So as you can see, okay, the line right here, it is in fact touching. Okay, so Bitcoin just made history. And this is in fact Bitcoin's new autumn high for this year in 2023, pretty much. Right. So 
great milestone for Bitcoin. Okay, it really is. Um, but yeah, it's just really interesting right now to see Bitcoin having this pump up. But not just Bitcoin, a lot of altcoins in the market are in fact pumping, right? A lot of altcoins are in fact pumping and I'm going to get into that, right? So yeah, Bitcoin breaks 24K, great to see. Um, and I showed you guys um, this chart right here in many of my videos, especially in yesterday's video, right? This is the chart that I showed you guys. So history does in fact repeat itself, right? So in 2019, okay, Bitcoin okay it's doing the exact same thing what it did in 2019 so okay it was in fact consolidating and then it dropped consolidation right uh double bottom okay two bottoms one here one here obviously and then it had a spike back up okay um and then it rallied up right so same thing what's happening right now with bitcoin okay it was in fact pretty much um consolidating um had a little drop right here okay had a little crash down and then two double bottoms had a pump right was in fact consolidating um and then we had a little drop and then obviously we saw the cpi data come uh came out and then we saw bitcoin slightly have a pump and now it's absolutely pumping up today right you guys can obviously clearly see that so obviously um bitcoin is pumping okay you guys can see that right <laughs> this is crazy you know what i mean i i never knew this would happen and i'm just glad guys honestly right i am just glad that i have in fact been dollar cost averaging right if you guys have been watching my videos then you guys would know that i have in fact been dollar cost averaging into the market right in the crypto market and bitcoin and ethereum are in fact my main investments and i've been investing into bitcoin mainly right my bitcoin was in fact my main investment okay like i've been buying and investing and, and accumulating into bitcoin for the past few months now right you guys know okay i don't know if you guys remember but about two months ago okay i actually invested into bitcoin okay um when i was at like just under sixteen thousand dollars right around here okay right around here and guess what that is pretty much bitcoin's bottom okay right there that is when guys i invested like over ten thousand dollars it was like at it was like seventeen point five thousand dollars if you guys don't believe me check out that video it's titled i'm going all in on bitcoin right that's when i literally invested almost twenty thousand dollars into bitcoin and i'm glad i did because obviously i'm up in profit right now and then literally about a week ago right just last week i invested over ten thousand dollars into bitcoin right i invested like eleven thousand dollars okay if you guys don't believe me you should definitely check, check out that video it's titled i think it's on the lines of um i'm investing into bitcoin btc somewhere around there right i link all those videos right in the description down below if i remember um just to show you guys that i have in fact been dollar cost averaging into bitcoin and i've been investing and buying and accumulating into bitcoin when it was way lower than where it is now right and i'm glad i did because obviously your boy is up in profit okay now does that mean i'm going to be taking profits doesn't mean i'm going to be you know selling any of my bitcoins right my satoshis no i'm doing this for long term guys i told you guys that many times i'm a investor i'm here for long term i'm not here for short term i don't care about short term gains i care about long term gains because i know for a fact that bitcoin will eventually okay it will eventually go back up to its previous all-time highs in the next crypto bull market and it will easily reach a new all-time high of potentially one hundred thousand dollars and over six fix 100 percent. okay so history is repeating itself right because in 2019 um after this guys right after it wasn't for consolidating had a little dip and then it just absolutely spiked up and guess what that's exactly what bitcoin is doing now okay so history is repeating itself okay it, it really is so i'm excited and i hope you guys are in fact um excited as well for bitcoin right let me know your thoughts right now guys okay because i'm pumped right now okay i really am right and of course guys um i want to show you guys this because this also um has never happened in um bitcoin's history right so this apparently happened for the first time for bitcoin but the death cross actually happened okay and it was in fact confirmed um for bitcoin right the bitcoin weekly death cross is now confirmed for the first time in history right which is absolutely crazy you know what i mean for the first time in history the death cross actually happened right and let me show you guys the thing grid index right now before i give you guys you know the cryptocurrency market update um but right now the thing grid index is obviously in greed 
it's currently at 62. It's been a very, very long time since we've seen the free and greed index at 62. It's been a really long time. So obviously this is, you know, spiking back up right now. Uh, yesterday we were in fact at 53 and it just spiked up to 62. So obviously um, the index has absolutely spiked up today. Okay, so now we're obviously in greed. Yesterday we were actually in neutral, okay? Last week we we're actually in greed. And last month we were in fact in neutral. Okay, so it's great to see, right? It's great to see the thing greed index now in greed mode. And soon enough, guys, okay, I'm telling you guys right now, soon enough, we're going to see this in extremely greed, right? Extreme greed, okay? So be excited for that, guys, okay? And obviously, when everyone's greedy, that is pretty much, guys, you want to take profits. I understand that, right? But I'm going to take my profits in the next crypto bull market, which is going to happen next year, in the year 2024, of course, and 2025, right? That is when, guys, I'm pretty much going to take profits because you guys have to understand we are still in a bear market right we are still in a bear market right so that being said let me show you guys what's exactly happening right now with the entire cryptocurrency market because everything is pumping it's literally another green day right yesterday it was in fact a green day today's the same deal today is in fact a green day today right for the crypto market and of course other markets like the stock market right so um before i end this video let me just give you guys an update what's happening with the entire cryptocurrency market because it's pumping, right? Everything is just pumping, right? Bitcoin is pumping, Ethereum is pumping, a lot of altcoins are pumping like crazy today. So you guys see, okay, the global crypto market cap is currently at 1.12 trillion and it's up 8.6%, okay, today. So absolutely crazy, you know what I mean, today, right? The crypto market's absolutely pumping. You guys can see uh, for the past 24 hours, Bitcoin has pumped a whopping 11.5% for the past 24 hours. And Ethereum has pumped up over 9%, right? 9.2%. Bitcoin is absolutely pumping. Ethereum is absolutely pumping. Great to see, right? The top two uh, crypto coins, right? The top uh, largest crypto coins absolutely pumping today. And that's not it, right? Check out some of these altcoins. Look at BNB pumping 8.7%. XRP pumping 5.2%, right? Cardano pumping 6.6%. Polygon absolutely pumping 9.9%, pretty much 10%. Dogecoin pumping, okay, now at 9 cents, 4.1%, right? Solana pumping 10.2%. Polkadot pumping over 7%, right? Shiba Inu pumping pretty much 7%. Litecoin 6%. Avalanche pumping 10.8%. Uh, 10 okay, Uniswap pumping 6%. Cosmos, 7%. Same with Chainlink. Chainlink is actually pumping 7.5% today. Okay. Aptos pumping 12.8%. Uh, Stellar XLM, 6.7%. HBAR, 6%. Okay. Filecoin, 9%. Apecoin, 9% as well. Algorand, 9.5%. VeChain, 8.4%. Quant, 4%. Right. Phantom, 14%. Right, the list goes on. The central land, uh, 11.3%, right? Absolutely crazy. Aave pumping 6.8%. Axie Infinity, 11%. Crazy. Theta Network, 10.4%. Sandbox, 11%. Tezos, 10%. Like the list goes on, right? The list literally goes on, guys. So you guys can clearly see, okay, a lot of altcoins are in fact in the greens today. You guys can clearly see that. Like look at the 24 hours, right? for a lot of these altcoins it's pretty much in um the greens you know what i mean look at this right absolutely crazy crazy everything is just doing really well today same with yesterday but today is doing even better um everything is pumping even more guys right so the real question here is guys since everything is pumping right now bitcoin is pumping ethereum is pumping the entire cryptocurrency market right now is pumping and the fee the fear and greed index right now showing greed. Should we be buying? Should we be buying right now? Okay, should we FOMO in per se, right? For the people out there that didn't buy Bitcoin, right? Or invested into the crypto market. Should you dollar cost average now? Should you, you know, buy now and whatnot? I honestly don't know. I really don't know, but I will say this. Okay, I will say this. At least dollar cost average. You know, I've... <laughs> 
I've been telling us this, okay, literally a couple of weeks ago, you know, not even a couple of weeks ago, like literally a few months ago, okay, when Bitcoin was literally at sixteen thousand dollars, when Bitcoin was looking boring, right? That's that's what people were in fact saying, you know, when Bitcoin was in fact, okay, was in fact at sixteen thousand dollars, literally, you know, pretty much a month ago, like five weeks ago, okay, uh, back um in December last year, right? So obviously, right, Bitcoin was in fact pretty much consolidating at sixteen thousand dollars. You know, we saw Bitcoin stuck at sixteen k for quite some time, and in that time, guys, I told you guys, I was literally telling you guys and begging you guys to at least dollar cost average. I told you guys, if you guys were in fact in the crypto space, if you guys were in fact crypto investors, at least dollar cost average right now, we are still in accumulation stage. Even right now, I think right now is a perfect time to dollar cost average. Okay. It really is, but I don't think this is the time to pretty much, you know, go all in on Bitcoin. You know, if you haven't invested into Bitcoin yet and you want to, you know, chuck in $10,000 right now, I don't think it's a great time to do that, right? I don't think you should firm it in right now, guys, because Bitcoin, you guys have to understand, has pumped a lot. It's pumped up over 11% for the past 24 hours. Think about it. Eventually, in my opinion, Bitcoin's going to have a drop. Okay, not just Bitcoin, but a lot of these old coins are going to have a drop back down. Right. When we see the market, like, for example, today, right, the markets are absolutely pumping. You guys have to stand. Eventually, it will, in fact, drop back down. So I highly suggest you guys to, to not firm it in, right, to not firm it in. When everything is pumping, when Bitcoin's pumping this much, OK, not just Bitcoin, but these other old coins right in the market. I don't think, uh, guys, like this, like you should like firm it in right now. You know what I mean? Like I was actually planning on buying some Ethereum. I told you guys this many times, okay, I've been buying a lot of Bitcoin. I want to start, you know, moving that and keeping my eye on Ethereum. You know, I want to start investing a bit more into Ethereum. And I was actually legit, guys, I was actually planning on buying some Ethereum today, but Ethereum has just pumped way too much, right? It's pumped way too much. So I think I'm going to wait a bit, wait for maybe Ethereum to go back down to about $1,500 to even $1,400. Who knows when, but I think this will happen because I'm not going to buy now, guys, because it's just pumped way too much, right? So I'm just going to wait a bit, okay? And when I see Ethereum go back down to about fifteen to $1,400 even, that's when, guys, I will pretty much invest, right? Because it's just pumped too much right now, okay? Everything has pumped way too much. So it's really up to you guys, but I just don't highly suggest you guys to, you know, FOMO in right now and just go all in on Bitcoin and invest, you know, thousands of dollars into it, right? Because eventually it's going to drop back down, right? That's just my own personal opinion right so that being said guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here i'm still buying and i hope you guys are in fact as well if you guys are in fact in the crypto space if you guys are in fact crypto investors just like myself i feel like we we all should be dollar cost averaging and i've told you guys this many times literally a couple of months ago i told you guys the dollar cost average literally if you don't believe me look back at my other videos like literally a few months ago a month ago two months ago Three months ago, I told you guys the dollar cost average, right? When Bitcoin was down, when the markets were down, when everything was dropping, I told you guys to simply accumulate, to buy, to invest. And I told you guys, yes, it wasn't financial advice because it wasn't. You always had to do your own research. But look at it now. Bitcoin has pumped and the crypto market has pumped. So I don't know. It's really up to you guys. But that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet already. I really would appreciate that. And I catch you guys in my next video. Have a good one, guys.